Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the fourth episode of Full Murloc vs. Strahd. I am your GM, the Dark Powers. On Discord, I am Laram, if anyone wants to talk to me. Uh, we have our wonderful roster of players, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves, starting with Nerd Dragon 88 I am Nerd... And I am playing as Jitters, the Cleric of Fire. And next we have Astrid. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm uh, Brigley. Uh, I'm playing Astrid, a Dwarven Cleric of the Forge. And for anyone who doesn't want to share their Discord name, you don't have to. I just figured I would. Mm. Um, Pip? Yep. Uh, Salem, the... Or playing Pip, the Warforged monk. Beep boop. Uh, who went robot? Oh, I'm just saying beep boop, because oh. he's playing a Warforged. <laughs> Fair enough. Next would be Clay. I am Clay the ma I guess Warlock, yeah, yeah. Little absent minded, you know how it goes when you've, you know, possibly died of one too many times. All right, next we have Blue. I'm uh, sedated. I'm playing Blue, which is the artificer of the group with plenty of tricks, and he's a clown. All right, then we have DoorDash, our Rather mute tabaxi monk. They they don't speak for reasons. Um, I will not share any information they do not want shared. So they are a tabaxi monk named Ordash. Aria. Uh, I'm Kirli and I play Aria, a tiefling. Bard. Oh um, yeah, and a bard. <laughs> All right, and next we have Sunny. Um, Corks, and I'm playing Sunny, uh, the Osamir Ranger. All right, and unfortunately, our human wizard is not here this time. He is Shoop. Again, I'm not going to share his Discord name without his consent. So he's a human wizard that likes to summon things. But he is not here tonight. So, carrying on. Y'all, uh, in our last session, y'all had just uh, killed a, I guess, a swarm, a pack. I don't know what you would call a group of Gricks. A slithering? No, that's from Harry Potter. Pack. <laughs> Maybe a pack. There, there wasn't enough to be a swarm. A it, could be a, it could be a clusterfuck. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm it depends how organized they were. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, a clusterfuck of Gricks. And uh, our Warforge here got rather traumatized because he got gooed. Yeah, how's that working out for you, by the way? Did I get cleaned? I forgot. You I did. Forgot you through, did. Have you gone through the therapy session yet? Sorry, I lost display for about three minutes there. What did I miss? Not much. Okay. Just introductions and me mentioning that our Warforged got gooed last session. And then you cleaned him up in a rather awkward way. I wish I could say yummy, but it wasn't. No, you ended up vomiting. You know, definitely just picking things out, even if they don't exist. But uh, mostly just like frantically cleaning still the suit and being careful where I tread now. Rather so traumatized. Yes. Yeah. All right. So as you all are kind of recovering from that, uh, those of you who practice alchemy, if you want to collect any parts from the bodies, now would be the time. Uh, well, obviously. Obviously, I wasn't here at the end of last session, so I'd like to. Uh... Do a little scavenging. That's Scavenger why. Reading. That's why I mentioned it. What do you want? Investigation. 
or uh, uh survival survival yeah that's bullshit you're harvesting parts my dude but, but you know what i'm giving you advantage well that didn't fucking help much it did because it was a pass fail um i'm going to say you get because I'm not doing, yeah, you know, it was a pass fail. You get uh, four grick hides. One of them was just too goo to get anything from. You also get some, uh, you know, a few vials of slime. Uh, let's say four of them, five of them. I have some slime. And uh, the beaks. You get four beaks. The grick, as in G R I C K. Yes, Grick. How many beaks do I get? Four, because there four. were four right. Gricks. I would also, since we finished a long rest, I'm going to 1d6 my potion for the day. All right. So that will be a transformation potion. All right. Uh, yeah, there was a rest, by the way. So anyone who's not healed, looking at you, DoorDash. All right, so we ahead, have we access to a, we have a potion of transformation we have access to going into this nasty ass potential situation we have coming up. So if we can think of a way to strategically use this, I can give it to anybody. It's uh, real quick, um, DoorDash. Go ahead and hit that long rest button to heal yourself. Because I'm seeing you're damaged. Oh, um, weird. You did level up to three, right? Okay, your HP is looking low to me. Let me fix something. So, okay, on my screen, it still shows me at 22, even though I'm at 33. All right, you know what? I'm not going to mess with it right now. Um, it's being weird. All right, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, okay, so, potion of transformation. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, potion, mind. potion of transformation. So, just, to, just to so, so what this potion does, uh, and I can give it to literally anybody, or I can use it myself. It'll last for ten minutes. Uh, it casts alter self. So either we can change the appearance of one person completely to whatever we want, or uh, you can take natural weapons where you go grow claws, fangs, spikes, horns, or different natural weapons of your choice. Your unarmed, unarmed strike will deal one d six bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage. So, if that's something we think could be useful, this is something we have access to. Uh, you also get a plus one no damage or a plus one bonus to the attack and damage rolls. Clay is going to say, "Ooh, that sounds like fun!" and try and grab it. Oh, I'm not. I, I, I'm. This is. This is. Uh. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I, I tell you guys. Oh, look what I made. Uh, but I think we could use it to maybe create confusion so i might i might pass this off to somebody later on we'll see all right well as you all are kind of taking a minute after you know the last battles suddenly with a violent crack a rift opens in the wall to the left of clay and through it falls a pole arm here, I'm fixing uh, Arya's HP. You you have to manually change it. If you changed it on your character token, you have to manually change your health on your character token as well. So I, I think DoorDash will have to do the same thing. So just click your character token, go to the green box, and set it to what your current HP total is. Okay. All right. So um, yeah, violent crack sounds through the room, echoing and kind of hurting all your ears and this 
ebony polearm with a you know black blade falls through and falls at Clay's feet. And Clay, you feel a strong urge to reach out and grab it. As I'm reaching down for it, I call out, okay, who threw it? They're going to get such a pinch. As your hand or pseudopod or whatever touches you, you feel a sharp pain in your mind. And a deep, resonating, growling voice speaks to you. At last I found you. start looking around a little confused and uncharacteristically worried. You okay there, buddy boy? You looking a little, uh, little, little weird, a little concerned. Before you can respond, the voice speaks again. Do you have any idea what level of power I had to give to find you? We had a deal. What are you? You don't remember, pitiful mortals. Take something away and something else always breaks. I'm the one your pact is with. And with that, memories start flooding your mind of the pact. Describe it how you want. One moment. Basically, flashes of yeah, go on. Him crying into a well in a drunken stupor of lamenting his mortality, of being unable to contribute to the Cobalt Order's libraries in a meaning in what he felt was a meaningful fashion, of his Humanity itself being sucked away, leaving him a gelatinous husk. And not fully understanding what was going on. Running off. Where he wandered. Lost more of his mind and memories. As he holds the weapon, he immediately tries to break it over his knee, only to find that he is unable to go through with the action. At attempting to break it, you hear it laugh in your mind as it it just as it seems to be just amused by your action. You really thought you could break me, something as weak and pitiful as you? No. You will serve me as we agreed, and you will feed me. I... One moment, please. Yep. Uh, also, so while I see this interaction going on, we're kind of watching uh, him kind of talk to himself and like try to break this weapon over his leg. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Uh, the weapon itself is blazing with magic, though it does seem somewhat muted. It's obviously a powerful weapon, but it seems diminished somehow. I apologize for that. You're fine. And I'm going to read that information, relay that information to everybody, but also the purpose of the casting of Detect Magic is for the future 10 minutes that we have going on. But I yeah. am 
observing the overwhelming power from this weapon as well. So that I can also relay information to uh, to Clay as to what's going on and the rest of the party. So what, incentive, going on. what incentive could I possibly have to serve what stripped me of my humanity? If you want it back, you'll serve me. Right now, I cannot return it. But if you serve well, I'll think about it. Think about it. <laughs> it's okay. You take time to think about it. We'll come to an agreement sooner or later. For now... Clay looks back up to the rest of his adventuring party. It seems we must find a way out of here still. Uh, was he saying on that or was he just thinking it? Um, that's a good question. Like, was he just like speaking and like nothing and then speaking then nothing? Like, yes, I was. Lunatic? Okay. Then I will look at him like he's a fucking lunatic. I mean, we're we're, um, we're already accustomed to people talking to themselves, so <laughs> I, guess, yeah. I guess it's okay. Oh, but so like, full as, conversations? As you hold the weapon, by the way, Nos, um, the memories continue to open in your mind as you realize that you know how to use this weapon quite effectively. You also gain access to some abilities you didn't have. You have now shifted from Genie Pact to Hexblade. Is that no, good? I'm curious. The, the Genie Pact was never the real pact. It was basically my drunken delusions. Yeah. Uh, it's fun. a different kind of warlock. It's a melee warlock. He goes whack instead of pew. Yeah, Neat. but he can still go pew. Right, but he also goes whack. <laughs> Yo. And, you know, pole arms lead to some very interesting combat mechanics. Uh, which one was it, Clay? It was um, the Green Flame Blade, I believe, was what it was called. Uh, well, you don't need that anymore, technically. This weapon's going to be better than that. No, it, the, the, it's a cantrip that uh, fair. adds to the melee attack. Uh, fair. Fuck. Um, how much does it add? It's a um, what's there to say? It's a five damage breath constitution save in five yards around okay. your target. I do have was? to add that. Let's double check. Dragon's wrath weapon. No, we're talking about the green flame blade cantrip. Oh, 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 never mind. Carry on. I'm checking. Sorry about the lack of preparation. No, so far we're more prepared than we have been. Right. Go team. Okay, so uh all right. It's just an AoE mechanic. I can work that in without having to make a change to the character sheet right now. Alright, so um that happened. 
And now you guys are presented with a choice. You can go to what would be your right if you're facing towards the south, or you can continue south. You do hear a faint chanting come from the south. Is it the same chanting as what we've heard before? Yes. It is! There it is again! What? Fuck sakes. God damn it. It's a good thing. And it oh, comes no, from the south and almost as though it's echoing upward from below. Did you guys explore this entire area before? Like, is this the only decision we have to either go or not go? No, you have a lot of decisions, but you definitely feel drawn towards the chanting. I'm, I'm going to do a quick lap and see if my detect magic picks anything up. Um, how far does it extend? 30 feet. So I'm going to spend, I, well, let's assume that conversation he was in took like a minute or so. I'm going to take a minute to like wander around up here. As you approach the south, you feel something to the south. And it seems like it doesn't originate from the same spot as the chanting, but further south of it. It's beyond the chanting. Yes, but it's still on the same floor as you, whereas the chanting seems to be coming from below. All right. I'm going to wander in that yeah, direction towards it. Uh, and then I will see a faint aura around it once I find it. Uh, it's... And I, I can see barriers as, as well. You can, can see, see through walls? I can't see through walls, but if I can find a general sense of its direction, I'm going to head towards whatever magic scent I, I've, I've kind of detected. Fair enough. So, so Is everyone coming. following the wandering Vidalkin? Yes. I'm, I mean, there's something this way. Uh, okay. Can I slap him before he goes? So, you know, like, he tells me not to touch stuff, I'm gonna slap him not to go investigate stuff? I'm not gonna touch you anything. You know who I do. I'm not gonna touch anything. Oh, he's gone. But there's something over this way. It's in this general uh, direction, yes? Yeah. more towards the west and south. West and south. Like down here? So to the left. Yeah. Towards that area. Alright, something down here. You feel it's to the west. You are. You see a chest with a faint glow at the foot of a, a torn up bed. Alright, there's. I'm detecting magic coming from the chest. Wait, what's, what was All this? Right. Oh, I think we're the wrong way. So... The bed is a large wood framed bed with a rotted leather mattress. There's a uh, wardrobe in the corner containing several old robes. It's sitting open. And there's also a pair of iron candlesticks and an open crate containing 30 torches and a leather sack with 15 candles inside it. The bag's just kind of sitting open, showing the candles. I want to investigate this magic chest. Um, all right. Uh, do you I'm want sure to wait for everyone else to get there first? Yeah, yeah, I'm just assuming everybody's kind of Does wandering this way. It looks like you went this way. As like I'm wandering in wherever the yeah, hell. I made it very clear which you. direction I'm going. You can see me on the map. I made it very. Oh, we can't. Okay. Oh, you can't. I guess you can't. I'm south. Here, I'm going to slowly move my character. Oh, yeah. South hallway. We're just kind of wandering oh, around that gotcha. way. Farther Conrad's sounds. done a pretty good job of sticking with me when I do shit like this, so I would presume he's near me as well. Okay. Was there so, anything in here that was like, I take a wrong turn, I guess, but did I stumble on anything? Uh, you see here. a statue. And I but, want to go over what that statue is, but I, I don't want to split things up. Okay, I, and by the way, if uh, that was a reaction to his movement, you absolutely did slap him before his movement. Okay. Yeah. So you've been slapped, and you just walked away from it. That, that is a 19. She whiffed. <laughs> I noticed out. nothing, and I continue.
All right, I'm just going to start moving players into the room. Yeah, because I don't see where anyone went. Yeah, I got this. All done. I'm dancing to the chance, by the way. Just just do it a little jig. Wow. It's kind of catchy. All right. What do you how do I investigate or check this chest or do you want like an arcana Give me an investigation roll? All right. We investigate. All right, I'm setting something up real quick. Bear with me. Well, that is a fail. Can anybody look at it? Are we all looking at it? Yeah. We're all here? Wait, 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 wait. Nope, there's nothing here. I don't know what you guys are coming this way for. There's literally oh. nothing here. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll leave. Fucking one. Don't you dare. Well, there's nothing there, so... Hmm. There's still there's definitely something magic in this chest. Yeah, well... Oh, wait, uh, wait. I looked and, and I saw a trap fuck all. I don't want you setting off a trap. Got it? Yep. No, it's fi fine. I'll just look at Sunny to think, see if we should keep walking away or keep going back because they said there's something magical, but there's also nothing there. Well, there's yeah, it's, it's magic, but I inspected it and I found dick all. So somebody <laughs> else is going to contribute here. Probably help them. Because I them. am looking at the ceiling for some reason. Good man. Give me Good one man. sec. All right. There are no traps. All right. There's still something magic in there. Shall we open it? One moment. Uh, if you take a look at it, um, I'll say just at quick glance, no check needed, you see that the lock is rusted and broken. Uh, I'm going to jiggle it. Oh. The lock disintegrates <laughs> and falls out of the hasp. Jitters is going to look very, very frustrated. What? What? It's, it's. You said there's no traps. That doesn't mean that it's not something else. All right, fine. Your turn. Uh, it will take out a one foot long pole that will then extend. Okay. What's what's he trying to do with it? He's going to use the uh, pull of collapsing to open it from a distance. It, the lid freaks open on rusted hinges and just falls backward and falls apart as it comes into contact with the foot of the bed. All right, so it's not animated and it's not a mimic. He'll then recollapse his pole and put it away. <laughs> All yours. All right. Let's take a quick. Let's let's take a little peeky poo. All right. Inside the chest are two folded up cloaks that are glowing with a magical aura. Uh, there's a small wooden coffer that appears to not have any sort of locking mechanism just sitting in there just a little wooden chest uh there's a set of thieves tools uh or and yeah otherwise everything else would be in the chest the small little chest all right 
So I'm going to pick up and pocket the thieves' tools because although I'm proficient with them, I still don't own any. Okay. Ironically, stealing the thieves' tools. Right. Um, as you do that, you hear a rustling behind you. Uh, I said it wasn't a trap. I have to refresh my page. Hold on, things broke. Traps are mechanical things. Uh, not necessarily. That does also include magical based traps, including glyphs. Well, okay, it does it's not, not ambushes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Hence the ten foot pole. As you, as you pull that out of the chest, you hear rustling from the walls as it's coming surging out of the walls are four ghouls or two ghouls and four of another type of undead creature that you have not necessarily encountered before. Yay! Why do they all look like albino venoms? Why and why does why do they have mustaches? I don't know. Like it's supposed to be him biting an arm, but it looks like he has a mustache. Well, you know, it is what it is. He's got a mustache arm. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. They, uh, everyone roll initiative. Way to go, Blue. I mean, every, every single chest in this house so far has been a mob trap. I kind of expected it. it. was just getting it out of the way. Not all of them. Every single fucking one, dude. Nope, there was one that wasn't. Alright, fine. The meat stash. Show you my meat stash. Jeez. I hope not. Hello? You can, you can show me in like three and a half days. Alright, has everyone rolled? Um, Shoop's here, but not. I figure he'll be fine if he his character doesn't do anything. Less work for me. Yep, yeah, fair. So, one, two, three, four, five. All right, yeah, that's everyone. All right, so, Sonny, you're up. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to just uh, shoot a bow, because that's what I like to do. At what uh, bow? Yeah, let's do this guy in the front here, I guess. All I right. I think I added my new thing to it. We'll see if it works. The dreadful strikes or whatever. Um, attack. Let's see. Uh, Fifteen hit him. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, that hits. Eat. Yeah. So that'd be 11 damage. And then I think I'm just going to kind of step back a little bit away from the group. That All right. It. So this ghoul here is going to charge forward 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 at Pip. And it is going to, let me open this character sheet real quick. Uh, It is going to claw at you. 
All right. Does a 17 hit? Yes. Make me a con save. Uh, still even being Warforged? Just want to make sure. Uh. If so, that's that's fine, but I'm just wanting to make sure. You know, you're right. I, I don't know. They don't really specify if it's a disease or magical thing, but you know what? We'll say it's a disease thing. Don't worry about the con save. Okay. You take eight damage. Eight damage. Noted. And applied. Yeah. Next is going to be this creature right here. It's going to go forward and uh, next to the school. And oh, hold on. Tokens are all screwy on my screen. Okay, now it's showing me right now. I don't fucking know what's going on. Um, it's going to take a jab at Jitters. Yeah. Going to bite at you. Gotta hit an 18. It does not hit. I got pins for you. You're up. Oh no. Bite him back. You might catch something. Pip, you're up. Okay. Um, this other bites my arm. After just meticulously trying to clean myself, just look to it. Uh, how hardy does this thing look compared to at least other things we fought? Uh, it looks like the other ghouls you fought. About the same. Did you? Do you think you could turn off the chanting for now? Because it's yeah loud enough that it's kind of muffling what I'm hearing from other people. There you go. Perfect, thank you. Yep. I will just uh, sigh and reeling. Wait, I want to make sure I'm really bringing this right. It it definitely is like oozing some slobber and other God stuff from its jaw. It. And you see a bug crawl out of its eye socket. Okay, I was going to punch the other creature, but no, this just annoyed me enough. I'm just going to turn to it, reel back my fist, and just go straight for the head. Um, okay. So it's, I can make, I for, it's been a while since I did this, whoops, I think two attacks as a default without player blows. I'm going to make sure real quick. You need to get brain goop on your hands. I know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just tail. Yeah, because I'm not going to flurry necessarily, but hopefully this will get it. All right. Eighteen. That sorry. That hit. All right. How's it looking? Uh, the punch fractures its skull and. Stuff starts to leak out of its skull. A little bit gets on your knuckles, but not too bad. I called it. Okay, let's all stand in. Yeah, but it's not looking good. You definitely okay. like the, fucked it up. Yeah, try to stop it from doing much else. I'm going to do... I, I forgot I had this. Tavern Brawler. I'm going to use my bonus action to try and grapple it immediately after. And just hold it there. All right. Uh, I'm going to an opposing athletic check. And beat a 19. So that'd be a strength oh, check to I oppose? Think it's, uh, no, it's a skill. I think it's athletics or acrobatics, I think, actually. Well, this doesn't have those. It has strength. Then I guess it's just a flat strength check? Or flat dex, whatever's higher? It, it You grabbed it. Okay, then that is my turn. Then as I just quickly, with my other hand, uh, reach out to it, hold it still. It weakly tries to fight your hands off, but just 
completely fails it. It rolled a one. Oh, well. That's my turn. <laughs> it grabbed itself. All right. Yeah. Somehow got itself more firmly entrenched in your hands. <laughs> so the one that uh, Sonny took a shot at is going to charge forward and take a swing at Clay. It's going to bite. Does a 16 hit? Yep. Sorry to do this to you, but you take 15 damage. Remember, you have that curse ability when it comes to your yep. turn. Yeah. All right. That's its turn. Aria, what you got? Um, how many daggers am I allowed to throw? Uh, two. Do they have to be like at the same person, or can I like toss them and aim them at different, them at different targets? For okay, sure um, different so like I kind of want to like back a little bit. I want to be like between Pip and Jitters, but obviously there's no space for that. Um, um, and like throw if them. you do that, it is going to take a, an attack of opportunity. Oh well, because I got automatically put right there, and I wasn't like whatever. Fair. Never mind that. Well, fine. You know what? I'll allow um, this one. I'll allow this one. Go ahead. Yeah, because I would never be up front in any of these situations yeah, in the they, history of ever. These guys came at us from behind. They did. Then I would still be farthest away because I was you, literally no, next to Blue the whole time. If you were behind me, they would have been at you first. I like I, I should be the furthest yeah. away because I I opened the trap and they came at everybody from behind. That's kind of yeah. I was I right. I was right next it. to you though. That's that's how I, like because he was like if we look at the other map. Hang on, I'm going to move him real quick. He was like here at the by the chest, and I was like right there next to him, uh, right at the door. That's where I got put. Okay. So technically, I'd still be by him, right? Yeah, that, I'm not going to stress it. It's fine. Okay. So I just kind of want to like position myself ish between like Pip and Jitters, like behind them to safely throw the daggers at, hang on, this guy and like that. Hello, that guy. All right, make your attack rolls. Uh, hang on, what do I do? Just click, click the, the attack ring next to it. All right, that's one that hits. And then do I do it again? Yes. That hits. Roll damage. And then another one? Yes, and which one was hitting which? Oh, I don't give a shit because I was going to heat metal them. Well, the one that's still very healthy should be the one that you're going to heat metal, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know their health, so. I mean, All you right, can save well, five on that guy and then the six on that guy or the other yeah, guy. Yeah, this one's the more damaged. Or, this one's the more damaged. This one looks sturdier. So then put the six on the sturdy one, that one, like the I 20, did. 24. Yeah. And then... All right. Is that your turn? I have to wait for the next turn for the heat metal, right? Yeah. Remember, then you yeah. have bonus actions that you have access to, so you could inspire somebody. Uh, no, that throwing the second dagger used. Oh, second, second daggers are bonus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Never mind. I'll take it back. Yeah, then I'm good. That gas is going to charge forward. I can't do much else at the moment. DoorDash.
Oh, uh, important for their turn. Also, uh, monk turns coming up. Did you ever decide yes or no on the optional abilities? Uh, what were the optional abilities again? It's up to, uh, from what I read, it's the end discussion, but for monks, it's if you use key on your turn, you can make an extra attack, which I forgot. I don't need a retcon, but if it is enabled, but just uh, You guys already have a ton of attacks. I'm going to yeah. say no First on that I, one. Yeah, that's fine. Make sure. Yep. All right. Those both hit. Um, yeah, you basically rip its head off. And it just slumps over. Blue. You're up, buddy. Um, action is, I'm just going to move back. Uh, wait, health or let me double check. Let me double check. Uh, 60 feet. What is 60 feet here? To go to the wheel ruler. Oh, I fucking hit anything in the room. That's fine. Uh, I am just going to move. Him, yeah? And we're going to ready action Ray of Frost uh, for the next one that charges in to get in contact. So probably it's, it's aimed. It's I'm I'm looking specifically at these two to Ray of Frost yeah. one that gets in tight or tr tries to get in tight, and I'm going to try attempt to slow it down by ten yards, ten feet per uh, ten feet per yeah. turn. Um, and then. Uh, I am. Um, are Caltrops a bonus action? Throwing Caltrops out? Uh, yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna throw Caltrops. And. How far can I throw them? They cover a five foot square? Or how big of a square? Uh, I, gotta I think five foot. I'm not sure. So according to the book, one bag of caltrops covers a single five-foot tile. Right, all right. Which needs to be adjacent to the player who is uh, placing them. He's throwing them. All right, I, I can do that before I move. That's fine. All right. Uh, well, let me just tab back in here. Uh, so I'm going to... Spread caltrop. Oops, I moved the wrong person. I'm going to spread caltrops on this square to prevent flanking. Okay. And everybody should be clear that they're going down in front of them there in that section, and I'm going to move back. So I'm protecting okay. Jitter's flank with caltrops, de incentivizing right. movement and watching the two furthest ones for the first one to try to get in tight. It's going to get Ray of Frosted. And that'll be my turn. All right. All right. Clay, you're up. You're very quiet. I am. Now you're good. I'm going to um, cast Green Flame Blade on the enemy in front of Pip. All right, so you're using your new weapon to attack? Yes, which uh, the attack modifier is not in properly, so... Uh, it's your charisma. Hold yeah. On. Let me screw with your character sheet. Thank you. 
is that added to the damage as well, I believe? So, no. the uh, In this case, my uh, charisma modifier, if this attack lands, will be applied to a creature of my choosing within five feet of what I attack. Right, but that's on top of the thing. Is it normally applied to your damage as well? No, not yet. All right, let me make sure of that. For attack and damage rolls. I'm going to say that when you picked it up, that spell activated for the first time. That bond. Okay. There. Now it's in. Oh, wait. Ah, is it? No, I did it wrong. There. Now it's in there, right? All right, so you're hitting the one in front of Pip. Yeah, and uh, all it did was roll damage, I think. It didn't roll the hit. Click the glaive itself. Oh, I need to click attack. Okay. Yeah. That's a crit. So, as the weapon crits... As you make contact, go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, yeah. Um, as you attack, uh, what uh, you hear the weapon in your mind let out a almost growling sound of satisfaction. As it crashes into the ghoul, and you see this black aura engulf. Sound is off because screen is off. Hold on. Testing. Hmm? We good? Yes. Okay. So it. I, I heard a, a satisfaction voice. Yeah, a growl of satisfaction as the weapon crashes into the ghoul and this inky black aura engulfs it. However, it doesn't seem to do anything extra above, you know, what your weapon is already doing to it. And you hear a sigh in your mind. Damned undead, immune to my power. And the ghoul falls over dead. And then the green flame will jump to the one that was next to it. All right. So your charisma modifier is a four? Yes. All right. Is that your turn? I will actually take a five-foot step. And that is my turn. You are are occupying the same space as another character. Am? Because on my screen it yes, shows an yeah. empty spot. Uh, I believe that's where Ari is standing. It is on my screen. It too. is. Yeah. Maybe okay, refresh the screen. Stop yes, yeah, that's my turn. I mean, there's, there's a whole a, there's, other spot you could step to. There's space there's between Astrid and Aria right, uh, right here. Yeah, and 
you aren't threatened by anything right now. I know. I was the reason I was going to step there is just because. You know, let me let me reload the screen real quick. I'm gonna have to do the same. My whole character is missing. Uh, okay, now things are showing up properly for me. I will... Yeah, I'll stay where I am for my turn to end. We're going to have to call it early tonight. If roll 20 keeps acting up. No, I just had to refresh. I'm good. All right. All right. Well, then, in that case, uh, this gas. Yes, I said the name on accident, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, back here is going to charge forward. Which one the the one at the bot the the one the eating one. the ar the the one with the must oh that one all right well that gets the hit then so that happens before it starts moving right yep uh, right. as soon as I see it in motion it goes off so it's gonna move one step before you get uh, that's its motion right, that so hits it. all right nice. Fuck off. Uh, and its its speed is reduced by 10 feet. All right. And it takes one cold damage. So it stops there. It worked. Astrid, you're up. You have caltrips on the ground in front of you. Okay. Um I guess. Uh how badly damaged is this guy? Moderately. Okay. Uh, let's see. I will... Um... Mm -hmm. uh, I'll uh, Sacred Flame the guy. And, and stay here as like a... Come get me and I'll, uh, the Caltrops or whatever will be a... In the way. But I'll, yeah, I'll Sacred Flame okay. this dude. Or try to, anyway. Alright. See how that goes. Maybe. But I am. So, did I do it? Was that damage? I don't know. Uh, so it has to make a save, which is a dexterity save. Okay. Which, it made it safe. Oh, Sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. Um, I okay. guess... Let's see. Yeah. What broke? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll uh No, I won't back up. I I'll stay here. Um yeah, that's it. All right. The final ghoul is going to charge forward. And it's going to take a swing at Jitters. Does a 15 hit? Negatory. All right. 
Um, however, You're I'm up. going to be doing something that'll be provoking attack of opportunity pretty much no matter what, because that's what ranged attacks in a melee do. So the question is, should I go for the ghoul of the ghast? Neither one of them actually hit me, but like, I'll go after the ghast. It looks bigger and burlier and whatnot. So, uh, Ginger's going to throw out a firebolt at his head height, which means it's going to be generally think... hitting in the lower half of the ghast. I don't think spells provoke attacks of opportunity like that, even on ranged. They don't do that anymore? No. Oh. So, uh, take your shot. And I don't have advantage. So, yeah, I'm doing it right at face level for myself. So, crotch level for it. Yes, precisely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that hits. I, I roast off its, its naughty bits. Oh, my. It doesn't have those anymore. <laughs> Precisely how it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't seem to care, but the DM is horrified. <laughs> the only way that could have been better is if you screamed out Falcon Punch while doing it. Oh, my. <laughs> All right, and we are back to the top of the oh. initiative. Sunny. Anybody else smell that? I'm going to take a five foot step. My nuts here. roasting on an open fire. I'm going to shoot at the school. Oh. That hit. Oh, cool. I took a quick 180. Oh. <laughs> So that's 11 damage. Okay. That's it. It staggers back as the arrow slams into it and just kind of seems like it's about to fall over and then it regains its footing. All right. The gas that just had its nuts roasted off is going to swing at jitters. And miss. And you still can't hit. It, it snarls in your face. Pip, it's your turn. All right. Um. Do they look particularly like strong, like muscular per se? I mean, that may not come for undead. Just like. Since I know, like, their muscles and stuff are more rotted, but, like, does it just look sturdy? Uh, the gas look pretty strong, yeah. They look like they were pretty built in life. Okay. Almost like they were bodyguards for nobles. Going to... However... The gas in the back does not look particular. Well, actually, no, that one looks particularly strong. However, the one that died, if you were to look at it, you'd notice that it seemed a lot less built, but also under all the rot and nastiness, it seems female. Okay. Uh, so that's the these ones, correct? Uh, no. Something? Okay. Well, how about these one? How does this one look? Uh, it's, it's standard, like a servant. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move right there. I assume, I don't think it takes any tech opportunity for anyone. Uh, no, you do not because you say to threaten grain. Going to use blurry blows to give myself a total of three attacks. And with each attack, I'm going to try and shove one on each of these creatures to try and uh, knock them prone. I believe I can do so that. So I, I need to make dexterity checks, right? 
uh, it needs to be either imposing athletics or acrobatics. So yes, either opposing strength or dexterity. All Just right. One, two, three. In that order, I'll roll. So a 23, 10, and 14. All right, so the 23 fails. Damn, okay. Or no, it fails. You you succeeded. Oh, okay. That's what I'm using for prom. That one's also prom. Uh, wait, actually, no, second one is not pro. What am I thinking? Nor is the third one. Okay, then that's so, it then. yeah. All right. Aria. Okay, so what does the thingy on them mean? Uh, it means that it has been knocked prone, so any melee attacks on it have advantage. Ranged attacks have disadvantage. Unless so like, you're point blank. So like my dagger that's still in it, like the heat metal is going to have the a dagger disadvantage? dagger is still there. No, uh, you're casting a spell on the dagger. The dagger is still there. That's good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do that for the guy that has a lot of health left. All right. Uh, roll me the... Uh, Ping the heat metal so I know how much it's doing. Uh, that All right. So you're casting it at first level, right? Oh, no, it's listed at three. Oh, you don't have access to third level spells yet. Okay. So what do I cast it? Do I? Well, it says level uh, two. Okay, you that's have the lowest I can go. Spell, so you do six damage. All right. As you well, cast just... the spell, the metal starts to glow red hot, and you hear a sizzling as the metal inside the ghoul starts cooking it from the inside. It you don't have to make the con save. It has to make the con save, but it's not holding it. It's stuck in it. Therefore, no con save. <clears throat> okay, do I roll the the damage? It rolled when you paint when you hit the spell. Oh, cuz it says 2 died uh 8. Yeah. It rolled 2d8 and came out with a 6. Oh. It rolled a 2 and a 4. Oh yeah, it doesn't show it for me. Roll if for you hover six. over the 6, it'll show you. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it took six damage. Uh, is that your turn? Because that was your action. That was not your bonus action. Who left? Uh, the observer. Um... Okay. So, I only have four daggers, and I could throw another one. You can. So you would have one dagger in your inventory left. The other two are sticking in creatures right now. Okay, well, I throw that one also at that dude. Okay, roll an attack. Uh, with disadvantage, so an 11 does not hit. The dagger misses, skitters off the stone, and lands a few feet away from it. All right, and I'm assuming that's your turn? Yeah. All right. So now we have this ghast over here. Um, it is going to go after... DoorDash.
Does the 13 hit? All right, so it misses. Next turn, DoorDash. Okay. Uh, two of those attacks hit. All right. As your claws tear into it, it lets out a snarl in your face. Uh, and kind of, you know, some of the slobber gets on you. And uh, that would be your turn, correct? So that one can always avoid attacks of opportunity. They just don't exist. Uh, it's because of a feat. It's a feat. Oh, okay. Welcome back. I guess we're fighting this big dude to our left, huh? Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. We're we're going to uh, uh, we're going to occupy the space to the side, and we are going to give it a little zappy wacky poo. Uh, do you have the warcaster play. feet yet? I, I, it's only for shocking grasp. I'm just, I'm just zapping it. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot. That's for the attacks of opportunity for Warcast or for shocking yeah. grasp. I am doing the special ruling. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Just, I space. It's, it's a zappy whack, not a, uh, not a cast and whack. Yeah. So, so that is a 24. That hit. Roll That's me weird. hammer damage and shocking grasp damage. So the squeak deer, that's going to okay. be a 14 because it's being dual wielded. Oh my. And the lightning damage is an additional two. Okay. It is silvered, if it matters. It does not, but it, it kind of stiffens up as the hammerhead hits it and lightning arcs over its body hooking its flesh and releasing a wonderful smell into the air. All right. And it fantastic. It tries to snarl, but it's having a seizure right now. So our an attack of opportunity is not a reaction, right? Or is it? It is a reaction. Cool. I'm going to move here. Okay. It gets no reaction because of shocking grasp, right? Correct. Yeah. Oh, we like the hit and run tactics now. <laughs> This is the, z the right. zappy hit and run. Play, you're up. The hammer finally did damage. It did. Well, the nine. Let's see. Um, like I'm going to attack the one that is prone again with um with green flame blade. That's right, your weapon has reach. I was about to hit you with an attack of opportunity. Oh, uh, wait, you roll I, with forgot, I forgot right? to roll with advantage. Yeah. So there's an easy way to do that at the top of your character Yeah, sheet. like the thing yeah. that says advantage. I just yeah, forgot. But to. that definitely hits. Okay. Um. Yeah, it, it's it's fucked up. Where's the advantage thing on the character sheet? Uh, 
so yours I have not set up like that. It's automatically rolling with advantage. I need. Oh, to I see it. it. Always roll advantage. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just yeah. easier. Well, I actually prefer it the other way, but you know, I just haven't changed it yet. Fair enough. And then the uh, the flame will jump to. Uh... This is nothing within five feet of it. That means oh, I need there to refresh. Is. There's a ghoul right there. There's a ghoul right there. Actually. Yeah. Okay. I was right there. And I will move. More of that lovely cooking undead flesh. All right. I'm Barbara. glad you didn't move out of threatened range because you are right next to something. That's I, I moved uh, within uh, threat range of it. I just repositioned myself to no, you, now flank. Nos, you can get away from it if you want to. It is par temporarily paralyzed. It cannot yeah. attack with opportunity right now until it's Oh, in that turn. case, I'll That's take... Uh, true, yeah. I'll move to there then. There, now it's got an icon. The reason uh, I love right. that shocking grasp tech. So, this one that was slowed, is it still slowed? I don't remember how Ray of Frost works. Uh, no, only until the start of its next turn. All right. Um, or of my next turn. It's going to be stupid and try and charge past Pip. Therefore, provoking an attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, uh, you cannot make trip or grapple, or not grapple, like a uh, shove attack. Is that attack opportunity correct? I'm pretty sure you cannot. I don't think so. So, according to the book, you cannot do a maneuver like a, a trip or anything as part of an attack of opportunity. There are moments when game masters will allow such things as just part of what they're allowing. If you want to stick your foot out and try and trip it, I'll allow it, but it'll be with disadvantage. That's fine. I'll just clock it in the back of the head. Or I'll attempt to. But not, no, I will not. Correction. Uh, yeah, your fist flies past the back of its head as it rushes forward. And it will... Uh, take a bite at Jitters. Okay, good. Oh. So I tried That's to help 19. you not. I tried to help you not get flanked, but here we are. Well, I'm That's not a nineteen. Flanked. He's not technically flanked. Uh, okay, so it's front and back or side and side. So that well, hits, right? Uh, eighteen does hit. So for flanking, they specifically right. have to be on the exact opposite side of the token. Gotcha. And uh, you take 15 damage. Okay. I'm cool with that. All right. Okay, so that'll put Astrid. Uh, I'm going to see that guy rush up uh, and wail on jitters, and I am going to... Hold on. <laughs> Why did that not change? Where'd it go? Guiding bolt? I'm in a guiding bolt, this fucking guy. Bang, okay. Bang. Or try to, anyway. Get a whale right back. That's right. All right. There we go. Uh, that hits. Um, sure. Level one, I don't know. The bolt crashes into it. And again, it looks like it's about to fall over, but it does regain its footing. Guiding Bolt is 46? Holy fuck. Yeah. And gives advantage. And is level one. Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's wild. And 120 feet. Um, yep. Is that yeah, your turn? That's, yeah, yeah, that's it. Sorry. All right. This ghoul here that uh, uh, got burned is going to flip around and take a swing at Pip. All right. Wait, doesn't it have to take turn to uh, take its time to stand up, though? Not that. No, one. that's the ghast. 
Oh, oh. So the one right below the X is clean. And a six does not hit you, so it doesn't do shit. Jitters. Ew, you hit me. All gross and smelly. And uh, we're going to do another firebolt. On the one that hit you? Yes. All right. That, that does not, not hit. hit. <laughs> yeah, that did not hit. No. Aim lower. Do you have healing spell. You have healing word. Do you want to heal yourself? No. I'm it's a okay. bonus action. Yeah, if I was going to do that, I'd just right. use cure wounds. But, like, I'm not worried about Fair that at enough. the moment. All right. Sunny, you're up. I'm going to still go for the school. Get him. Oh, nope. Uh, the arrow <laughs> skitters off. Hits a uh, hits the floor and snaps in two. You're you're down an arrow. I'm sorry. I'll try again next time. Uh, I'm glad you don't take these as a all right. Astrid jitters roll dexter or roll athletics checks to see if you get hit. Kind of plays here. I appreciate. Oh, it. that would be annoying as hell. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. I probably should on a nat one, but I just don't want to deal with that, so the arrow breaks. Alright, so this guest is going to spend its turn getting up. And uh, that's its turn. I believe it's only a move action to get up. It's not trying to like make it stronger, but I think that's just uh... rolls. Is it's it a move of, action? It's half its movement. Yeah. All right, fine. Prone, it's going to take half its weak. movement to get up, and it's going to swing at Pip. Okay. A 21 hit? Yes. You take five damage. Okay. Because the bite rolled low for some reason. Oh, wait a minute. Did I get bit earlier? Uh, The claw and the bite are different. That does not apply on bites. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's why I have not made you make that save on a bite. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, it, uh, it dealt five damage to you, and uh, yeah, that's yeah, it. You're up. My token's not updating, but I have it on my sheet. Um, the one above me is healthy, right? No. Okay. Neither of the ones near you are looking particularly good. And I'll throw this out there. Arya should be able to finish the one above you, I would think, with a bonus action. Okay. Because it's got a molten dagger in its back right now, and she could just reactivate it. Oh, okay. shit, that's right. Doesn't it take tur damage on its turn from that? No, every bonus. So she can use her bonus action on each follow-up turn to to reactivate it and repeat the damage without expending a spell slot. Okay. Uh, let's see. That does go for a while. How is the one below Ashford looking? Not good. Or sorry, not, sorry, not Ashford, Uh, Arya. And just to the left of Jitters. How's that one looking? Wait, what? I was looking better, but still not fantastic. Okay. Uh, I was just seeing how the quality of everything was. Because I think it actually best for me to go for that one. Because the other... It, those are both probably die. I'm going to go here and provoke an entire opportunity. Yep. Uh, it doesn't hit. Okay. I'm going to spend... I can make two attacks. Uh... So All right. Make... So, oh, sorry. Real quick, upon checking time, I don't think we're going to uh, be finishing the death house because of this detour. This session. 
I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm going to just make a single attack against the one just above me. That hit. Uh, Laram? It hits. Okay. That's nine damage, and I'm assuming he's still standing. The one just above you? Correct. It is still standing. Okay, I'm going to use my other action to try and grapple it. With a DC 20 in dexterity or strength, or the skills if it has it. Uh, it failed its strength. It failed its uh, thing. Okay, then I'm going to then. And actually, to... you should have rolled that attack with advantage because it's flanked. Oh well, that's fine, I guess. Use a key on that ability I had got to a key and a bonus action to flip it um just below me out, out of range from Arya and jitters does it do damage because i'm not seeing damage it does a single attack worth of damage i didn't set it all right uh it did not roll the damage on my screen i don't see it uh and I have to, i'll have to add it Later. All right. To make it, and that's my turn. To just try and get that away from them. Okay. Arya, you're up. Um. Okay. So hang on. How's the health on that that guy? Uh, the one that you have the dagger in. Well, I have daggers in both. I thought two of them. No, the first one's dead already. Oh, hang on. So like this guy's dead. The, no, that guy's still alive. He's not in good shape. Neither he, is the gas next to him. You put a dagger in the other mustache dude that's already died. Oh, so there was another dude that was right there. He died and got replaced by that one. Understood. Okay. So then, yeah, I'll just reheat metal on that guy. And then I just click the thingy again. Mm -hmm. Yep. You cooked it. Anybody feel like barbecue? And then uh, bonus action, I guess, throw my last one at that guy. Uh, all right, roll me an attack. That hit. Do, your, do your daggers do more damage than your crossbow? Uh, no, but they're a no. uh, they're a light weapon. Therefore, she can throw it as a bonus action. Right. I'm just wondering why she's throwing uh, the dagger instead of using the crossbow. Wait, yeah, actually, the bonus because I can was heat, metal. heat metal. That was you, the bonus action. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mention that this. was no. So my you, main one was heat metal. So you're right. But... The heat metal you had on that dagger is over. So if you're gonna heat metal something again, it's gonna take your last level two spell slot. You will not be able to do it again this session. If you choose to do it, oh, I'm just okay. You. So never, so never mind. You may so, think unthrow about my dagger, on. I guess. Because if that's kind of as my yeah. bonus action, the heat metal instead of whatever, then yeah. I can still shoot my crossbow. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, yeah. Undo, I guess, the thing. Um, and then, who has more health, that guy or uh, that guy? Technically, the first one. Okay, so then I will, I guess, shoot this dude with my uh, heavy crossbow. That's a hit. I only bring up this spell slot thing because you you need to remember that you only have two level two spell, like only two level two spell slots, so you can only ever heat metal twice in one rest session. Or if you want gotcha. to cast your other level two spell. 
you wouldn't be able to do it if you choose to heat metal again this battle. So the shot rips through its neck and its head starts hanging at a very odd angle. The neck clearly snapped in two, but it is still standing. Would we say it's a like 37 degree angle, maybe 39, 41? You did say odd. Yeah, Is yeah, I will say that. <laughs> I don't know. Clearly, it has to be 98 degrees. That's even. It can't be. He made it very clear. It's an odd angle. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just, you know, we'll say really 41. Nick. I, I, I can pull out a fucking, you know, protractor if I need to here. <laughs> All right, so the uh, the gas that was all shocky poo is no longer shock. He's only in awe. Damn it. Ah, that's what I'm going to call the attack. Shock and awe. Shock and ow. Shock and ow. All right. DoorDash, you get an oh, attack of opportunity wait. on it. So do I. Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, DoorDash hit it. You did not. Oh, wait. I, I have to make mine with advantage because I'm flanking. Uh, technically, no. You have oh. to be with, uh, the other person has to be right on the other side of it. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, DoorDash, as it runs past you, you again rip its head off. And it just kind of falls into a pile at uh, Blue's feet. The head stops. The body keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> In <laughs> fact, the head is stuck to your claws. Gross. Free action to get it off, but it's stuck to your claws. Blue, you're up. All right. We are going to do a little bit of shock and ow. <laughs> Unlucky. Um, he, hold on. That just hits. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Just barely. That is a 20. Uh, yeah. It, it starts, you know, stiffening as the electricity runs through it. And it starts cooking. And you, he, you see a blinding flash. And it cooks down into a pile of ash. At your feet. Burn! Right. Burn! Burn! Oh my! I uh, I I move behind Jitters and give him a high five with my bonus action. Jitters will return the high five. Right. Thunder buddies! Fuck you, Thunder! You can suck my dick. Uh, Clay, right. you're that, up. That's my turn. I'll be right back. Well, there's only one left, and it is currently prone, so I'll do, uh, do I get advantage with spells or disadvantage in this case? Uh, if you're doing something from range, it's with disadvantage. If you're doing something point blank, it's advantage. Well, now I have advantage. Correct. Uh, yeah, that hits. It's not adding in my charisma. Oh, wait, that's right. I don't have that right now. Or do I? Uh, you don't. Unless you... Was that one of the invocations you still took? Thought it was. Where are my invocations? 
I have dark vision, yes, and then it was supposed to be my other invocation. Hold on, I'm fixing it. Those are some cool lines. Reroll that damage. It did add it this time. It just was. Can we go with the roll. six and just add the four in? Either way, it's dead. <laughs> Still. It doesn't matter. It's dead. How do you want to do this? Yes, it's the please. last kill of the fight. Describe to us how it dies. I point my finger at its head and go, Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Well, you're about to. And then you blow it to groan inside your head from the weapon. Oh, well, please, not right in front of me. <laughs> How fucking and yes. force, isn't it? God damn it. Yes. Pieces of it fly apart. A piece of Why its head do you fly apart. insist on being so disorderly? <laughs> and hit Pip and cover him in brain goo. Can clean you if you want. God damn it. No, I just want to be clean without needing to be cleaned. Maybe you just need like a cleansing stone just kind of tucked inside your shirt at all times. Uh, if only something of that sort and just try to wipe some of it off. Jitters will get yeah, out that is pretty stone. gross. Yeah. Jitters will go ahead and get out his cleansing stone and. Touch it to poor Pip. Okay. Clearing off all dirt, grime, and gunk. I will make a comment too as you do that. Is there any chance that um, there might be more of those from wherever you acquired that from? Uh, is it a magic item? It is. Ah! We can have a discussion on our rest here. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, the end of that fight. Now, um, I picked up all my daggers again, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And the cow trips are gathered up and all that. Uh, you may go back to looting. All right. So, so uh, these, uh, there's what, two cloaks and a um, coffer. A little coffer. All right. So well, it's not like little, little, but it's big enough to hold a few things. All right. So Me? I'm going to, I'm going to pick up and hold the, the two cloaks and show them to everybody. Cause I'm the and, only one that's uh, seen in this chest so far. Because I don't feel like doing identification shit. I think they okay. kind of took it out of 5e. They are cloaks of protection. Okay. I mean, they didn't, but like they put it under Arcana. Yeah. Did I they... just don't feel like dealing with it. So I, I was gonna say let's let's just put them in a bag and wait until we can identify them, but I can skip that step so I don't have to worry about them being cursed, kind of thing, right? Yeah, so fine. Roll me a, roll me an Arcana check. I'll give you advantage because I don't care. Good enough. Yeah, they're cloaks of protection. Okay. Um, what did the cloaks of protection do? Uh. I believe they add AC. Let me double check. Yeah, plus one to bonus a uh, plus one bonus to AC and saving throws while you wear it. All right. So I'm going to throw one on, and then I'm going to say, "Hey, I found an extra cloak." And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do one of these, and I'm going to pocket the coffer while I'm distracting everybody with the cloak, so they can't see what's going around behind it. It's too big to fit in your pocket. Fuck. All right. Well, so do we see him again. try to put this giant coffer in his pocket? <laughs> Roll me perception. Well, it's, it's it's too big. It's irrelevant at this point. I oh, because that would have been funny though. If you're like, I, I didn't know myself. if it would. Yeah. Fit. He tries. Roll me perception checks. I am. Uh, <laughs> ooh, instead of offering up one, so I'm going to put one on, and I'm going to hand the other one to Pip and say, "Here." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you so see, you hand me it. You said? 
What? I'm being handed uh, this cloak. Yeah, to help. Yeah. I, it's gonna. I'm implying that you should clean yourself off with it, but you can choose to do with it whatever yeah, no, you want to. Because yeah, I take it and I start wiping myself with it. <laughs> so somebody's getting a, a, a cloak of protection with goop on it, brain goop. No, it's already. I, I don't know. Clean no. before that. So. I know. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I have been clean. cleaned. It's just like, um, even though there's like nothing there, I'm just like frantically wiping. Yeah. We, I, yeah, fair enough. So it doesn't have goop on it, but we can we can tell that he's a little dismayed by what's going on with it. And I was like, "Oh, what is, what is this?" I was like, "I'll actually take a stare at it." Uh it's a cloak of protection. Yeah, plus one AC and plus one to saving throws while you wear the cloak. Oh. All right. Well, as you're fiddling with the coffer, it falls open, revealing four potions of healing. A chain shirt, a mess kit, a flask uh, containing a. All right, so you're gonna have to start the list again so be... I can make notes. What, what what were they again? The top uh, uh, four potions of healing. Yep. A chain shirt, a mess kit, a flask that, uh, if you want to try and identify it, you can. It is containing something. I will. Yep. Uh, and... It is roll me a uh, alchemy check. Fuck it. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I got to pull my character sheet again. And You're it, fine. Like a notepad, alchemist tools, or whatever. Yeah, that will be. Is it with advantage? I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, alchemist okay. flies. It's good enough. It's a flask of alchemist fire. Ooh. Uh, there's also a bullseye lantern. You already got the thieves' tools. And a spell book with a yellow leather cover that uh, seems to be appropriate for a wizard. All right. So after handing him the cloak, I'm going to start holding things up and like help uh, having the group decide where we should put, or, like who should hold all of these things. And I'm going to naturally grab. The uh, uh, or I'm going to hold up the best kit and say, I don't need this. I'm going to hold up the alchemist flask and then say that uh, uh, I'm an alchemist, so it's, it's natural I should have that. Who needs potions of healing? And then I got a somebody needs a chain shirt, I'm sure. Somebody else can have this lantern. And uh, shoot's I'm gonna, gonna snag the book. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm gonna right look at, I'm, I just I just look at the book and I just pass it to him. I don't even think twice. Yeah, so, so he gets a spell book. Uh, I do not need any of these potions of healing, so these are all four of these are up for grabs. The chain shirt is up for grabs, so is the mess kit. I will probably take I, a potion of healing because I can make uh, I can make any set of tools that I want to ever, so I will never need this stuff. But I will get the flask. I take the flask of alchemist fire. So I'll take one of the potions. Who else is taking potions? Just add them to your sheet, as long as there's, there's three left. Well, I can't drink it, so... And if no one else wants the potions, I will I, gladly uh, take all of them. <laughs> does Does Arya have any? Because you should have a couple. Like, everybody should have a couple, because you can drink a healing yeah. potion as a bonus I action. Four. You have four? Yep, same. But I also right. don't take damage, so give them to, like, you know, DoorDash or Pip, who Door take the most damage. Door yeah, let's give let's give DoorDash two, and I'll take one, then. Because I can I can distribute them later, too. Like, so, and then I'll... Oh, you have eight? Okay. I'll just... I could just pocket them all. Or ha Do you need a bunch of them, Clay? Uh, I only had two on me from purchasing all right. earlier. All right, T take three, and I'll take one, and I'll go back up to four. All right. That and way, that way in, everybody's got a handful, essentially. In the small chest, you also find a note. And oh. it seems to be written in the handwriting from the journal you found in the uh, study. Which, uh, if you remember, was Fred, was, uh, Fred Durst. Now, uh, Gustav Durst was writing in his journal so this is in his handwriting all right who who has the original notes Arya has them right 
I believe so, yeah. I believe so, yeah. Right, so I would just naturally pick them up and say, here, read this. And, like, she's got the other one so she can compare as well. It simply says, our Lord continues to bless us. These items were taken from more adventurers that they brought into our lands. They will serve us. They will serve him well in our hands. Also, um, are you guys looking at the corpses at all? Um, we'll we'll sure. get there. But I guess now that you bring it up. <laughs> uh, who took the chain shirt? Anybody? Do we not have body armor of any kind? Again, I can't wear it. So, all right. Um, I'm just gonna add these other individual items to my uh, list of stuff that I'm holding. Fuck. All right. I muted myself before talking, and god damn it. Yeah. What, what, did, what were you trying to say? I can store stuff. Yeah. I so okay. So let's let's get into that. Like, let's get into that really quick. So I'm 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 taking. Uh, this time to also, I'm going to duplicate the bag of holding for myself, and I'm going to duplicate his stone for Pip. Mostly as a oh. meme. Okay. What do you yeah. mean by duplicate? Like okay. you just produce another one? Uh, so my my tinker, or like my artificer tinker or whatever, uh, imbue or whatever, uh, my infusion. There we go. I can duplicate magic items of, of my choosing. Um, so you you took a bag and turned it into a bag of holding. Then you picked up a rock and made it a cleansing stone. Yeah, but I have to have access to the other one. So because you guys are holding them, I can make copies. The way we worked it out is for I, I can only do two imbues every long rest, and yeah. I can only ever have four on myself. But I can and but I can hand individual ones out to you guys to do different things with. And then if I if I ever choose to unlearn the duplicate magic item, all of them disappear. But that'll be probably something well, they become inert. They no inert, longer yeah. magical. Yeah. Which I'm would be hilarious when you try to of... clean yourself with a fucking rock. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to duplicate the bag of holding. And anyway, go on with the corpses. So that sorts out all the item, all of our loot for this. Uh -oh. So as I mentioned before, two of the gas seem to have been. Almost the build of what would be bodyguards for a noble, right? But the other two are a man and a woman. They're wearing what was obviously once very fine clothing, but is now rotted and torn and just destroyed. And on the finger of the male is a signet ring. It with is the a windmill. windmill. Yes, with the windmill. Well, oh, that'll go nicely with the uh, seal I picked up earlier. Well, you can deduce from this that one of these bodies was, in fact, Gustav Durst. Congratulations, you found the parents. Jitters is going to pick up the body of uh, Gustav after, you know, party members have done whatever with it, but he's going to be picking up the body and then trying to drag it over to where he's supposed to be laid to rest. Is, is there just as many of these as there are, like our coffins or whatever, or like there's a coffin slots? for uh, Gustav and Elizabeth? Yes, a okay. coffin each. No coffins for the bodyguards, though. Nah, they're the help. All right, well, um, there you go. There's the loot from that. Uh, as for the other room that Pip stopped in, if you want to go back into that room, Pip, we can now deal with that room. Okay, yeah. And wait, am I getting this cleansing stone like right now? I believe it was made and handed to you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you'll if you hand me that, I'll just pull out a piece of uh, gold coin and hand it back to you. Aw, thanks. 
And although Warforged cannot cry, it looks like Pip might be on the verge of somehow managing to cry. As he just takes this and holds it close to him. And then I will just, yeah, I guess move on. Aww. Oh, I'm going to be emotionally charged after this. Oh, no. All right, so Pip, Astrid, as you two enter the room, you see a stone, a marble statue of a tall man with an angular chiseled face wearing what's obviously quite fine clothing from the way it's portrayed uh, and written into a plaque at the base of it is a name. Strad von Zarevich. Grasp in the statue's right hand, outstretched, is a smoky crystal orb. Hmm. Hmm. Does the name sound familiar? I forget if we've heard it before. Uh, yes, you've heard the name several times now. Okay, I just want to make sure. I for. And you've pieced together that he is the master of Barovia. And he has some sort of supernatural hold over the land. And does the orb look detachable or is it part of the statue? Uh, it looks like if you worked at it, you could get it out of there. You might break the I statue, think we should destroy but the you orb. get it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. No, I didn't know if uh, it was, looks supposed to come off or not. Blue, are you following to look at this orb? Because you still have the detect magic going. Yeah, I'm just I'm still editing stuff because of all the loot. All right. Um but yeah, just a, I'll go ahead and I'm move your character into the room. Yeah, thank you. So, Blue, as you look at the orb, you can see that it is completely mundane and inert. No magical energy whatsoever. However, it looks like it could be used to channel magical energy as say a spell focus. Okay. So do you want to try and take it? Uh, all right, hold up here. So it's this this spell focus thing that's like right here? Yeah. All right. Uh I I have no idea what this is for people. So it is a it's you f I feel like it's channeling magic energy. Can I, can I, like, investigate it, see if there's anything really hinky about it? For lack of a better way of putting yeah, it? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Arcana? Maybe? Uh, well, you've already determined from Detect Magic that it's not magical. It's not magical. No. But it looks then, like it could be used to channel magical energy. All right. Like, it has the potential. That is a very good investigation role. Seems perfectly fine, and you can't see anything that would trigger by removing it. All right, I'm gonna pick it up. Do it. Fuck it. Roll me a strength check. A strength check? Is it yeah, a super he's like trying to pry it out of a statue's hand? That's fingers are kind of curled okay. around it. I'm gonna argue that I've got some sort of tools here. In fact, I happen okay, to have the right rules for the job as a profi as a uh, trait. Then use the tools, and I will use I will I will use stonework. I will make myself some stoneworking tools of some kind that will help me pry it out. Roll so one d twenty with advantage. All right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do uh, strength to twelve. I'll call it a pass fail. You succeed. You damage the statue a little bit, but you succeed in getting the orb out. Neat. Put nice. it in the bag. <laughs> All right. Um, let me make sure there's nothing else in here. I'd like to investigate the skeletons on the floor a bit. Uh, okay, roll me an investigation. How big is this orb, by the way? Like, palmable size, or... Uh, it would fill your hand. It would fill my hand, alright. And uh, you don't notice anything, they seem harmless, and just decoration. 
Grizzly decoration, but decoration. Still not liking the feel of this place. I'm going to drink a health potion and phone call. All right. Um, I, just as a test, uh, let's see here. What do I have that? I, oh, never mind. I don't have anything that has a material component that would need the focus. I don't think I was going to test using this as a focus with a test cast of a spell, but I don't think that's something I can do as a. Yeah. Or is it relevant? All right, I'm going to leave it alone. It's going to. I'm going to say that you've discovered everything there is to discover about it. It's simply an orb that could be used as a spell focus. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, orb that can be used as a spell focus. It is a smoky gray crystal. All right. Um, well, now that the fight is over, the chanting has picked back up. I'm not going to press play on it again right now because, yeah. And uh, it is coming from west of you guys. Jitters, are you still struggling with those bodies? Apparently. Is anyone going to help Jitters? What are we doing with the bodies? I'm sorry. Just uh, trying to put them to rest. Yeah, Jitters oh, yeah, sure. Them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, trying to put them into the proper place. And then uh, he's probably going to use the Ixen rights because, like, these two don't seem to be Lythander people. So, like, no point in doing that, right? Yeah, they were cultists of Strahd. Yeah, so it might as well just, you know, give them the Ixen rites and burn the bodies in their little crypt out there. Hey. Gotcha. Was it being, like, right. mentioned or, like, people were saying anything? Because Kip at the time was busy with other things, but if he was made aware, he would help. Okay. Um, I'm going to say we should probably call it here because Roll20 is acting up for me and Clay needs to hop out and I know that DoorDash also possibly needs to leave. Yeah, fair enough. And also no Conrad, so doing the big fight without him would suck. Yeah. Yeah. Does... So, I, I see that like chain ar the the chain armor or the chain shirt is AC thirteen plus Dex. Is it, does roll twenty already count calculated in the Dex? Like is it just part of your armor class, or or do I need to add that manually to the chain shirts AC? Uh, if you add the it's... chain shirt via the compendium, it will automatically do that. So, but if I take it off. It drops my AC to 13. If I put it on, it goes up by... F oh, that makes sense. We're good. There we go. So wearing the chain shirt effectively just gives me the dex mod as a bonus to my AC. It's effectively what's happening there. How do you hide a thing? I was pinged. Where was this ping at? Oh, yeah. Fred Durst and Barovia. Oh, my God. I don't know how to do the hide thing. So. Oh, uh, that would be something I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Jitters will yell at the chanting. Damn. Aggressive much? Consider how much of a, a kind of loop it, it is and how little variation there is and then how much it's been going yeah. on. It would be more That's annoying like, at this point than scary, right? Like, just shut the fuck up! Exactly. And, like, given the shifting of everything, it's obviously not the spirits here. And it's at the yelling of, of that, 
<laughs> you're going to hear a new chant start up. Uh oh. One must die. One must die. One must die. One must die. I mean. And then it stops. <laughs> Maybe they mean you, Jitters. Eh, probably. But if it comes down to it, I mean, I can always burn the house down. Uh, maybe we can discuss before the rash actions. Mm -hmm. yeah, Just a we'll, thought. We'll, we'll try to cleanse it instead, but like... It is an option. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. Last resort. So uh, I think that is a good place to call it. Um, it has been fun. Sorry we had to cut the session short. Just, you know, missing someone for the big fight. And another person had to tap out. So, yeah. So we've we've explored all of this basement. Essentially, we're just we're starting next session. We're going to head towards the chanting and elect, like make a plan and then go figure out what we're doing. Yeah. There is, that, is more to explore, at? but it can also be explored after. Okay. If you guys want to do that. I believe we're done with the crypt, so now we have to go to the, the basement part of the basement. Yeah, the basement. But the, the floor we're on, we've explored everything, as far as I can tell. Not yep. quite everything, Not but quite. everything of importance. All right, fair enough. So we just need to make a... We'll, we'll spend the week. We'll make... If anybody has any ideas, we'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. And we'll go in blazing. Guns blazing. Going with shock and ouch. So I started blasting. So uh, will this be, will this be a short rest before we go down or before we carry on? Uh, yeah. Actually, fuck it, because I want you guys to go in with full HP. Because this is going to be a bitch of a fight coming. Long rest. Okay. Y'all have been some sleepy motherfuckers this run. So, and with that, uh, thank you everyone, uh, and thank anyone who is watching this for watching all the way through. Uh, it, it, we're, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully next week we will actually take on the boss. Of the Death House. Like, comment, subscribe. Hip thrust that like button. <laughs> and uh, until next time, be awesome to each other. <laughs>